Good evening, and thanks for joining us. I'm Wendy Ryan. And I'm James Sedular, the attorney for Ibrahim Todeshev's family, spoke exclusively to us about this ongoing case. Our Jacqueline Glace joins us live in Tampa with the details you'll hear only on ABC Action News. Jacqueline? I'm here at CARE headquarters tonight where we somewhat went through a dry run, but tomorrow is going to be the real deal. That is when Todeshev's father will be addressing media and divulging even more details into his son's ongoing death investigation. Potentially, he might have been shot while he was on the ground. And potentially, one of the bullets might have been in the back of the head. Hassan Shibley with the Council on American Islamic Relations says that's what he recently learned from private investigators hired by Ibrahim Todeshev's father. The 27-year-old was gunned down by FBI agents during an interrogation. But the family cannot confirm these findings because the FBI has ordered autopsy results to not be released. I mean, we have the pictures. We see the, the, the many bullet holes riddled in, in, in the individual's body. Shibley revealed Todeshev was shot seven times on May 22nd following a four-hour interrogation by FBI agents inside his Orlando apartment. The Russian native was being questioned about Tamerlan Zanayev. The Boston bombing suspect who was killed in a police shootout. Ibrahim had a chance to avoid that meeting altogether. You know, he had a flight out of the country. He postponed it so he could meet with the FBI agents. There have been conflicting accounts of what triggered the shooting and whether Todeshev was armed. It's very clear Ibrahim was handicapped during this uh, interrogation in his home for four or five hours. He, he had knee surgery recently. He couldn't walk properly. With so many questions swirling about his son's death, Abdul Baki Todeshev has traveled from Russia and is here tonight in Central Florida. I don't see him as angry at this country. I just see him as hurt. Again, Todeshev's father will be speaking at a press conference here at, he at CARE headquarters tomorrow morning. Now, what we have learned tonight is that he plans on announcing that a prominent attorney has joined their legal team, and he hopes that that addition will finally get the government's attention. We're live tonight in Tampa, Jacqueline Inglis, ABC Action News. Thank you.